Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video because I'm going to be doing a full face of female owned brands. I, like I said, I'm so excited about this. I'm going to be sharing a little picture and the owner's name or the founder's name down below so you know a little bit more about each brand. So yeah, let's get started because I know it's probably gonna be a very long video, so let's get started. For foundation, I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Lily Lolo BB Cream. I use the shade Light. This is a mineral company, Clean Beauty. Very nice products, very affordable as well. I really like that they're high quality, but quite affordable for the quality. The only thing is that they have to improve on the shades, like they don't have enough shades. This BB cream is literally the same color as my skin, but definitely the brushes are the standout product for me. Those are just some of the most velvety soft brushes. <sighs> They're so nice. So, so nice. And you can use it with any any product in your collection. So yeah, they're just, I'll highlight some in a little bit, but they're worth it. Definitely worth it. For concealer, I have two options, um, just because I'm being a little bit greedy. So I have the Cloven Hollow Concealer, female owned brand. And then I also have the Organic Skin Co, which you guys know that I freaking love <laughs> the Organic Skin Co. They're based in New Zealand. They're an American owned brand. So you have two options. Both are clean beauty, both are owned by females, and they're both really good. So I'm gonna use them both. The concealer from Club and Hollow, I would say it's more lighter coverage. Really nice for the under eyes, just because it doesn't look dry or cakey underneath the eyes. It blends out really nicely as well. And then we got Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman. OG YouTubers, gotta support them. I know they're not the full owners, but their name is still attached to the brushes, so I just wanted to give them a shout out. We have to give credit where credit is due and they're, they're the OGs. <laughs> so this is how the Cloven Hollow concealer blends out. It's just so nice. <laughs> so, so nice, you can see up close. Such a nice formula. And I know that they have plans to expand their shade range, which is really, really good. Now for the Organic Skin Co. Concealer. This is a much thicker, creamier concealer. I often use it as foundation. I'm going to be using this on blemishes and other areas where I want to cover. This once again blends out so nicely. You really don't struggle very much blending out either concealer. For blush, I'm going to be dipping into the Tower 28 Beach Please. Luminous Tinted Balm. Once again, this is a shade Golden Hour. I've been using this so much. <laughs> I just love it. It blends out so easily. It's another clean beauty brand based in LA, so more local to me. The formula is just so beautiful, so long wearing, so like natural, and it just, I can't say enough good things about this. And it's on the more affordable side as well. Packaging's beautiful. I just, I freaking love this product so much. I'm just gonna grab some on my brush. It looks a little bit crazy. I think I grabbed too much actually. <laughs> oh my God, I'm looking like one of my filters. Oops. I dipped too much <laughs> into that blush. Normally I don't pick up that much, but since I do the talking in English and Spanish, I was dipping. Um, but watch, it's just gonna blend out so nicely and it's not gonna look as crazy as it looks right now. When you don't go as crazy with this blush, it's a really nice color. <laughs> it's still a very nice color, but it just looks like I got a sunburn, which I mean, I'm not mad at because at least it's not a real sunburn. Next up, powder. I'm going to be using a different powder this time. This is the Glossier Wowder. You guys know I'm a humongous Glossier fan. The Wowder is a pretty nice product. I would say that it's better for someone with dry to normal skin. If you have oily skin like myself, it will make you look dewy much quicker. Um, so there's that. But it doesn't look dry. It doesn't look cakey. It's a very natural looking powder. And I'm just gonna apply it 
all over my skin. I mean, you can see it kind of toned down the blush, so now it's looking a lot more natural. For bronzer, I have the one, the only, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I, I mean, she doesn't need any introduction. She's Rihanna. This is her bronzer. This is in the shade In the Sun, which is the lightest one with a more cool undertone, which I really like because it doesn't pull orange on my skin. It looks like this. Rihanna, I think she's such a badass person. I'm not a huge fan of her music, but her as a businesswoman, she's freaking goals. I love her. I'm going to be using the Lily Lolo powder brush to apply this bronzer. I really wish you could feel how soft this brush is. I mean, you can kind of see the fibers <laughs> moving. So it's a very, very flexible fiber, super soft. And I've, I've washed this so many times. So the fact that it's still just as soft as when I purchased it is saying something. Back to Glossier, this is the brow flick and the boy brow. I could also have used the Anastasia Actually, let's do that. Let's use Anastasia. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't take out the Anastasia. <laughs> Anastasia gel. There we go. We got it. You already saw Glossier featured in this video. So let's let's give a shout out to another woman. Obviously, Anastasia is owned by Anastasia. <laughs> what a concept. This is the dip brow gel. I am using the shade caramel, which is still it still suits me. This was the color that I originally purchased when I had very orange hair, but I feel like it still works out with this kind of warmer, lighter brown. So this is literally a pomade, but in a tube. Much easier to apply, I think, than the other dip brow that she has. Well, at least if you have very thick brows like I do. Well, I like to consider this the boy brow on steroids because it does deposit a lot more color. And it's a little bit more, I'm not going to say that it leaves the brows crunchy, but definitely leaves them in their place. So now we're going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to begin by priming them using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, just the original one. And then I'm going to use this guy, which, I've, which I haven't used at all on this channel. This is the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. I'm going to use a few of these shades and then I'm going to throw in another eyeshadow as well. But I figured... This would be a good time to use it. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend out this primer. <laughs> if I tilt this up, you can see my camera. Wow. That's my setup. <laughs> super, super low budget. All right, so talking about this palette, it's honestly a very nice palette. I was about to put it in an anti-haul. Because the pictures just, it didn't look exciting in the pictures at all. It just looked very basic. But in real life, all of these colors have a mustardy undertone, which is very different. You guys know how I feel about mustard. I love that color. So I just, I really like this. I really do. And I feel like maybe I talked shit for no reason, but I actually do really like this. The mattes are so nice. And the shimmers are nice as well, but the mattes are definitely where it's at. I'm going to start off with Swarm. And this is going to go in my crease. So now I'm going to start blending this out a little bit. I'm just using the brush that comes in the palette. It's actually quite nice. It reminds me of a MAC 217 a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with Keeper. This is going to go on the outer corner. I'm just kind of stamping it into place. I'm going back with the shade Keeper and I'm also going to be applying it in the inner corner of the eye. I'm almost going to do like a like a halo eye in a way. Again with Keeper, which is my favorite shade in the palette if you can't tell. It's this beautiful mustardy orangey brown, which is it's just what I want in an eyeshadow, okay? I love these colors so much. This is gonna go on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna smudge it in. I'm also going to slightly wing this out. I'm also gonna go back to Swarm. And I'm just going to keep keep it down low. Keep it down low. <laughs> I 
I really like how nice and orange my eyes look, I think. It's, it just suits me very well. So for the center of the eyelid, I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Natasha Denona eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Obad, assuming that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> but it's kind of like a coppery rose gold shade, very metallic. So I'm going to use my finger to apply it. This is the only Natasha Denona eyeshadow that I own and I have it in my collection thanks to the Allure Beauty Box. I got it a few months ago, but it is really nice. But I just still can't justify spending almost $200 on a palette. Then finally, for the inner corner, I'm going to use... I feel like I want to use golden. Golden in the inner corner of this guy. For eyeliner, I want to use this guy by Laura Geller. This is the Incredible Eyeliner in the shade, I believe this one's rose gold. Yes, it is rose gold. I'm just going to apply it. I'm not going to be super precise about it because I do want to blend it out a little bit. And for my lashes, I'm going to be using, you guessed it, more products by female-owned brands. We have Jane Irondale as well as Wonder Beauty. This is the Mile High Club Mascara. And this one is the Pure Lash, which is kind of a conditioning lash primer. I'm just going to apply a very thin coat of this primer. And just so you know, Jane Irondale is another clean beauty brand. Wonder Beauty was co-founded by a supermodel, which I think is really cool. I really love their mascaras. I tried their original mascara a few years back when it came out, and that one is such a nice mascara. It has a very similar wand to the Lancome Hypnose Drama, which I also love, but um, Lancome is not cruelty-free. Wonder Beauty is. But this mascara is also really nice, but I do like the, the other one better. To highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow, but obviously just using the glow and not the bronze. There's so many female-owned highlighters. Obviously, Rihanna has some, RMS, Laura Geller. I mean, I could keep going on and on, Glossier. I just wanted to give Charlotte Tilbury a little shout out. I'm using another Lily Lolo brush to apply my highlighter. This one is the Tapered Contour. But, I mean, obviously, you can use brushes for whatever purpose. And finally, for lips, I'm going to be using two Bite Beauty products. I just don't know which shades I want. So, the products that I'm going to be applying on my lips are the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in the shade 036 and the Multi Stick in Honeyweed, which is literally like the same color scheme as the Urban Decay Honey Palette, the Naked Honey Palette. So, I'm going to apply both of them. I'm sure you can hear my mom's birds singing away. So I think this is it for the makeup. This is my full face using products by female founded and female owned makeup companies. I am so happy with the way this turned out as well as just making this video because there's so many companies that are, you know, run by men and including Bare Minerals now is run by a man and it's just I don't know like if they're a man in the beauty industry they love they have a passion for it that's one thing but when it's run by businessmen it makes I don't know it for me it kind of ruins the experience just a little bit because you're thinking about this mainly as 100% business so I do like I like supporting women I mean they know what they're selling they obviously have a passion for it they wear their own products but um it was just it meant a lot for me to just highlight these companies so now you know these are some of the female-led companies there's definitely a lot more especially in the clean beauty industry there's a lot of female-owned brands so just just so you know but i will be linking all the products that i use down below 
all of them including clean beauty not clean beauty all the products that i use will be linked down below let me know in the comments if you want to see other full face of videos and give me suggestions in the comments if you're brand new take the moment to subscribe to keep up with my videos and see more of my face in your feed <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much once again and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye